Hi, welcome to the Functional Skills Network. In this short little clip, I'm just going to demonstrate how to divide with decimals. So this is where the decimal is um, the second part of the question. So uh, decimals are a little bit difficult to work with if you're not using a calculator. What we like is whole numbers. So I'm going to convert it to a whole number. And in order to do that, all I have to do is multiply by 10 because if I do 0 0.6 times 10 I end up with 6 but if I do that to the second part of the question I've also got to do it to the first part of the question I've got to times that by 10 as well so 36 times 10 is 360 so my sum is then going to be what is 360 divided by 6 now the answer to this will be the same as the answer to this, exactly the same. So I'm going to do my bus stop method now. I've got 360 divided by 6. OK, how many 6s into 3? None. How many 6s, got to carry the 3 over, into 36? The answer is 6. I've still got a zero here, so in a sense, I've still got to say how many sixes are in zero. It's zero. So I've got an answer of 060, which means just plain, old-fashioned, simple 60. OK, I don't need to actually put that zero in there. So if you had a question that was uh, slightly longer than this one okay let's rub that out so if you had 12 divided by 0 0.04 okay um we would use the same method we want to convert this bit into a whole number um so i don't times it by 10 i times it by 100 i basically move the decimal point two places so move it there move it to there and then i've got um so I times it by 100, I end up with 4. I've got to do the same to the other side, though, otherwise I won't get the same answer. So times that side by 100. So I've now got 1, 2, 0, 0 divided by 4. Simple sum again. I like to choose easy numbers for these. Uh, 1,200 divided by 4. So how many 4s are in 1? None. Carry the 1. How many 4s are in 12? Three, three fours are twelve. How many fours are in zero and zero? Zero, zero. I don't need to put the zero up there, so my answer would simply be three hundred. So I promise you that the answer to our original sum, twelve divided by zero point zero four, would be three hundred. Need to check that sometimes in the in the uh, functional skills exam. They ask you to do a check. You do a reverse. You take your answer, which is three hundred. You multiply it by 4 and you work out the answer. Well, I can kind of do this in my head. I can do 3 times 4 is 12 and then I just put two zeros on the end. And that's a check just by doing that. So good luck with all of your work, folks. Uh, I'll see you again in another video.